so the preacher must come with very clear communication very clear communication he must present the word of god in such a way that it will enter every segment of the mind of a man in unbelief and collapse the wall of resistance that's bible teaching that's bible teaching that's defense that's apologetics These are contrary opinions to the word of God. Contrary opinions. Contrary opinions like quoting scriptures out of context. There are three streams of Bible teaching worldwide. And every preacher falls under one. The first stream of Bible teaching. First stream is the backup stream. Back it up which is very common among the Pentecostal charismatic community. Back it up, back it up. The backup system of Bible preaching is where a preacher decides what he wants to say to his congregation. Then he now looks for verses that have that statement inside. He now uproots them from their original environment and uses them to form an environment that favors what he is thinking. That's number one back it up preachers in the world a number of them fall under that category those who escape that category the second category it is where you use your dreams your visions your experiences to preach then you use bible to back it up every time you want to preach you scare the audience with i was on the mountain last night then you describe what you saw then after you have intimidated them with the vision, you now look for verses out of context that backs up your vision, your dreams, or your experience. That's the second stream. So if a preacher doesn't fall under the first one, he will fall under the second one. If he doesn't fall under that too, the last stream of Bible teaching is preaching the word of God by the use of pretext, post-text, to explain context which you call the bible interpreting itself that's the third category exegesis every preacher in the world falls under one of these three every preacher so the apologist must have that in mind when approaching bible text and when teaching it because there are people in the other two school of preaching streams of preaching that will be listening to you the reason why they say dr damina should stop preaching and talking about preachers and just preach his gospel is because what i am preaching is exposing what their preachers preached so they now think is their pastors i'm targeting and of course what is the job of light to expose darkness you say, why is Dr. Damien, every time he preaches, he must attack a preacher. Why did the preacher keep himself in a place where he will be attacked? That's the question you should be asking. Why did the preacher put himself in a place where he will be attacked? It's not every preacher that I'm attacking. Preachers that are doing their job well are not threatened by what I preach. In fact, what I preach is a compliment to what they are preaching. It's a confirmation. They should even be the ones that are telling their members, just like Dr. Damina said. There was one video that was in circulation where a pastor was telling his church, Dr. Damina's message is correct. Nothing is wrong with it, but it is not for you people. It is for pastors another insult that means all of you are dummies he said nothing is wrong dr damina pastor chris Onayinka, nothing is wrong with their message it's just that it is not for you people it's too high you are too low it is for pastors he said when pastors collect it then they break it down and explain to you people because you are iq is low is an insult 
that's a serious insult in public not even in private 